they are not knocking the D2 National Wrestling Championship anymore because now Kamar Usman has some UFC gold to go with it. A huge effort to dethrone Tyron Wood. So here we go, this highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Right. What? All right, so now we are on the ground. Now All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with his leg. Quick entry here. Nice single leg entry. Rotates ahead outside to a high garage. Oh. Big slam takedown. That was beautiful. All right, half guard for him here and a lot of the offensive options, I would think, at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. He has sufficient options, but I believe the safest option for him here is going to be to use his ground and pound. Build a base, posture up, throw big strike, get back in position, posture again, throw big strike, and just really wear him down with a really secure position in half. In flight number three, and now 29 total strikes are now laying down for Conor McGregor. All right, so once more, he takes the fight to the ground. That was his game plan exactly. Fantastic job of entering, and once he gets to the takedown, he does a great job of securing top position and really getting damage off on his opponent. Nice job by him there to move in the half guard. Not much resistance from the bottom fight. He's just too good in this position. Look for ground and pound immediately. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any you've ever seen. him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Oh, and that is a pinpoint left hand right there for McGregor. It is his best strike. It is because he knows exactly where he needs to be in the octagon to land that left hand over and over again. All right, a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Nice hammer fist. Usman's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more off that here for bottom. All right, hammer fist here by Connor. Oh, some big punches raining down here, picking the spots well, and hasn't chosen to engage his opponent on the ground necessarily, posturing up and, and making these shots count. I mean, why would he when he's having so much success doing it and fighting in this exact same manner that's leading them to be ahead in the fight? All right, here we go with our second round now, Connor McGregor and Kamaru Usman. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Single collar tie. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. All right, so no surprise. Oh, beautifully executed trip to get the takedown defensively. What are you trying to do to prevent this? You got to be so aware defensively. Because if you're not, the moment you're out of position, a guy like this will find those takedowns with those trips and all kinds of different stars. Bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. McGregor gets up, he is back on the feet here. A lot of power on display from Paul Usman as he lands yet again there. Paul Usman showed 
in the Kobe Covers fight. Not only is he the best one, oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's gonna break him? Both fighters back to their feet now. All right, so another swing and a miss, and I'd imagine if your gas tank is this low, you got You get up, you go down as another takedown attempt play. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter. He's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. McGregor gets back up again. Wow! And just like that, the fight is over. Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. Well, what a moment for him here tonight, a huge knockout on one of the sport's biggest stages. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at three minutes, two seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout, Kamaru, the Nigerian nightmare, Ushpah. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not?